All right, let's work problem 73 from OpenStax University of Physics, chapter 6. We have a child in a roller coaster ride uh, going on the trajectory shown. Uh, with, we are asked to find the force of the car seat on the child at point A. So at point A, the child will be here. And it will be experiencing a centripetal force that is equal to mv squared over r. Now that centripetal force is going to be made up of two parts. One of them is going to be the force due to gravity. Which is its weight. And the other portion is going to be the normal force, which is the force of the seat. It is that normal force that we are asked to find out. So let's put those things together. So for part A, we know that mv squared over r has to be equal to the sum of the normal force plus the weight. Now we know what the weight is, which is mg. The only thing we need to find out is the normal force, so we solve for that. So the normal force will be equal to mb squared over r minus mg. And since we are given the speed at point A to be equal to 10 meters per second, And we're given the mass of the child to be 40 kilograms. We also know g to be 9.8 meters per second squared. And the radius of circumference, the radius uh, is uh, 7 meters, the radius of the loop. We can put all of that stuff in our um, equation. And so then we are going to have mb squared over r minus mg um, to look something like this. The normal force Let's put that on the calculator. So 10 squared, that's 100 over 7, minus 9.8 times 40. That's equal to 180 newtons, basically. I got 179.43. So if we do it uh, to three significant digits, it will be 180 newtons. Oh, I guess I can do that now.
Now for part B, we have a similar question, but the position of the child is no longer right overhead. It's 30 degrees off. And so we have to do a little bit more geometry, but beyond that, it's the same problem. Okay, so the object is here. And what's, keep it, what's keeping it going in a circle is the centripetal force. Now that centripetal force is again made up by a combination of the gravitational force and the normal force. Now the gravitational force continues to be straight down. And the normal force continues to be towards the center. What we need to realize is that there's a component of the weight that is along the radial direction. So the weight has a component in this direction and a component in that direction. These two make an angle of 90 degrees. So what we need to find is this weight component in the radial direction. Um, I'll use N because it's parallel to the normal force. So um, we would want to know either this angle here or this angle there, and then we can use our trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, or tangent, depending on the information that we have. So what angle can we find? Well, I will uh, ask you to remember from your geometry uh, that if you have two parallel lines, that are bisected like that, uh, then you have that this angle would be equal to this angle, which would be equal to that angle, which would be equal to that angle. So these four angles are the same, and this would be the complementary angles. or maybe the supplementary angles. But anyways, the ones with the two tick marks would be equal to each other, the ones with one tick mark would be equal to one another. In a situation, we have this line and this line are parallel. And they are being crossed by this other line, like that. So, if this is 30 degrees, then this has to be 30 degrees there. So, in this angle theta, has to be equal to this angle theta. And then we see that the normal uh, component of the weight, the one that's along the line to the center, has to be equal to the cosine of theta times W. Because W is the hypotenuse, this side along the, um, along the radius would be the side that is adjacent to theta. And so then we have cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side, Wn, over the hypotenuse, which is the weight.
So now I know my two contributions to the force that uh, goes towards the center. Right, so my entire centripetal force has to be equal to the component of the weight that's towards the center plus the normal force, which is also towards the center. Okay, I know that my centripetal force is mv squared over r. Uh, I know that the weight is going to be mg and the component of it going towards the center gives me a cosine of theta plus the normal force. The normal force is what we are looking for. So I solve for that. And the problem is basically done. Let's put that in the calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degrees because we are given the angle in degrees. So b squared in this situation is, uh, for part b, is 10.5. So 10.5 squared, that's 110.25, divided by r, which is 7, that's 15.75, minus g, which is 9.8, times the cosine of theta, which is the cosine of 30 degrees. The portion in the parentheses gives me 7.2629, and then I multiply times the mass, which is 40, and that gives me 290.52. Again, I think in this one we have three significant figures, so your answer will probably be 291. Um, for part C, what minimum speed is required to keep the child in his seat at point A. So if we're looking at point A, I know that the minimum speed that um, that is required at point A would be one in which the normal force has no work to do. All right, so basically the entire centripetal force would be provided by the force of gravity. So in other words, I'm looking at this equation that we use for point A, but in the in the case that the child is going around just at the right speed such that the track and the seat have to do no work to try to keep it going in a circle, the weight could provide all of the centripetal force that is necessary. So for part C, I'll just have mb squared over r is equal to the weight. So mb squared over r is equal to mg. The m's cancel out. And so the speed, the minimum speed that I would require would be gr square root which in this case would be 9.8 times 7. Which is 68.6, .6, and then I take the square root of that. Which would be 8.28 meters per second. Obviously, all my forces are in newtons, my speeds are in meters per second. Alright, I hope you found that useful.